Say hi. Say hi. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another video which is crazy but yesterday I received a parcel from Essence slash Catrice. They launched actually another Disney collection and this time it is The Lion King slash The Jungle Book which is I'm so excited so of course as a makeup collector and how reckless I'm being this month that I'm just buying 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 of course I had to buy some things from this new collection so I think this will be like a crossover between Essence and Catrice because I have some stuff from The Lion King and I have some stuff from The Jungle Book I didn't purchase everything because I was not drawn to every single product they came up with but I mean we have the palette, we have blush, we have face palette, we have mascara, we have some lip products I think let's get into it shall we? Before we start, hi my name is Nicola or if you're new here then hi nice to meet you I mostly do really quick easy simple makeup looks uh, also I put on some wig and I didn't glue it so apologize if you will see some lace because I didn't even cut it right I just love to wear wigs I think it gives me another personality but yeah it's it's not glued it's yeah, whatever. Please excuse that, okay? Uh, I already did my base, just the base. I put on some moisturizer. I put on this Catrice Tinted Serum because I'm still kind of testing it out. And I really like it. I have mine in the shade 010 and Neutral. I wanted actually 020, but everything was sold out in my country. This was coming from Slovakia. I put on some concealer and some powder. So just to kind of divide the things what I have. So I think from Catrice I have four products. From Essence I have three products. Let's get into it straight away. We're gonna start with the face palette from Catrice and it is this beautiful jungle book face palette and it is called Wild About You. I purchased the more darker face palette because they have two and I purchased the dark one. I just wanted it because of the packaging because I didn't want uh, repeating characters like a Balu or Mowgli. We're gonna work it out, don't worry. So this is how the front packaging looks like. As you can see you have the characters and everything. This is the back, it kind of shows you the colors, the name of the of each product and also the ingredients. So it is like a paper packaging, like it is like a paper, so I think you can recycle it. Yeah, you can recycle it. It's vegan, it's nice, we love that. So as you can see, it's really brand new because I still have the protective foil on it, so I'm just gonna... It's not going. So this is how the palette looks on the inside, as you can see. Yeah, it is a bit darker for me, but please excuse me. So we have highlighter, blush, contour and bronzer. I would actually switch these two and I would say this one is contour, this one is bronzer, but it's actually the other way around. But I'm gonna use this one, I think, not this one, because this one is really dark. Uh, but anyway, it looks so pretty, like every shade is embroidered with something. It's really well done and I'm excited. So let's get straight away with the bronzer. So I will take my BH Cosmetic, it's like an angled brush. Maybe I may slightly move the wig up so I can really put the bronzer. Uh, so I apologize for that. But yeah, let's dip right away into the shade called Fetch the Weather, which should be the bronzer one, but to me it's more like a contour. I will just destroy the beautiful print on the shade and yeah I may just slightly put the wig out and just ooh, what do you guys think 
like this video is completely spontaneous yeah, I wanted to actually film yesterday but then I was really like exhausted and yeah I just kind of every time I need to film I have to have the need to film even though sometimes I usually most of the times when I film a video for YouTube uh, are actually when I don't want to film and they always end up really good and every time I want to film then it's rubbish so I think I really just have to force myself and film when I don't want to film when I feel really maybe like exhausted or whatever and today I actually want to film so we'll see how this whole video will turn out so far the contour shade to me it's like a bronzer shade uh, but the contour shade is really nice it's of course definitely buildable as you can see yeah it, it is I would say yeah this is a contour shade but I just put it as a bronzer so it is a bit uh, cooler like a cool undertone so yeah I would this I would put this as a contour shade not as a bronzer uh, but it's the other way around so I'm kind of scared to apply this one because this is really dark yeah this may be too dark for me so to kind of make it warmer to kind of make my face warmer I will use my W7 bronze bronzer it is massive and I just dip like a really tiny bit apply a bit of my hand because I don't want to be too bronzy and just just to give it a bit of life you know but overall so far I really like the I really enjoy Catrice and Essence I think they have really nice products um, and affordable of course um, so so far I have nothing to say other than that i didn't kind of blend it really nicely see these are sometimes i also have like a days where i don't know what i should talk about um in a video like sometimes i'm just i just feel really awkward uh, i also didn't do my brows i don't know why i should do my brows because i don't have any brow product uh, but yeah, uh, I will take this IT cosmetic brush and I'll just dip slightly into the shade that I already applied to kind of contour whatever bronze my nose just a little bit. I don't usually like contour like my whole face, I just don't do it. Um, I don't know because I think I kind of suck at it, so that's why I try to avoid it. Uh, I don't think I'm really good in it. Let's be creative today. Let's try. Let's try Do you know how to make your nose smaller like not like this part like the bridge but like the the sides of your nose Because I don't know but I would love to learn because I don't can I smile and sometimes my nose is too white I don't know. I don't like it. Okay bronzer Done. I think I'm, I'll have really such a hard time with the book because See, this is the day, this is the day when I want to film, everything just fucks over. I have coffee here and I knew that something's gonna happen and already I... it happened. <sighs> I should drink it. Okay, I zoomed two bits a little bit as well. So, brows are done, I just... I, they may look horrible, I don't know, because I already had like a bit of soap in them and I slept like that, so... Something just fell. Okay, so yeah, excuse this situation, as I mentioned, I apologize. Uh, but I just want to be really raw and I just don't want to make everything perfect I, I i'm tired of being perfect we're not here for the week we're here for the makeup right so apologize again the last time for the week but let's just ignore, ignore. Uh, that's because i have my wigs up here in a shelf and one of them just fell okay anyway okay so with the blush uh we're gonna have a bit of problem because now i realize that we have three blushes so one is in the palette 
Then I have these blush sticks from Catrice, which has Balu on the on the packaging. And when you open it, this is the color. Like really, it's not bright pink, but it's pink. It's really nice. And this one is in the shade Big Bear Hacks. And then from the essence part. Uh, with the Lion King, we have this maxi blush coat. Can you feel the love tonight? Can you feel the love tonight? Wait, I just want to... So we have Nala on the front cover. And this is called Can you feel the love tonight? That's so cute. And when you open it, you have mirror. And here is the blush. It is more mauve like a berry. The print in the powder is just amazing. So we have this three options and I just don't know which one to use. This is the thing, like why I couldn't just buy one blush, but I had to buy th three. Oh my goodness, this is the thing that I hate, being this reckless, because I don't need that many blushes. If you would see my blush collection, you would freak out. I'm just angry at me. Anyway, I think I'll swatch all of them just for you so you see. Uh, Essence actually has one more blush. So first I will swatch this one from the face palette. And this shade is called Nature's Noblest Creatures, which is cute. Oh, okay, but this blush has a shimmer. It's like a shimmery blush. Oh, this is so pretty. Yeah, this blush has definitely shimmers in it. It's almost like a copper shade. It definitely has orange undertones in it, but it's not as dark as it picks up on the camera. It's more lighter, definitely. Very pretty. But I don't think I want this type of color on my cheeks today. So this will be a pass for the palette. We're still gonna use the highlighter. Then we have the Essence and Nala. So let's see this one. Oh yeah, this one is pretty. I would like to use this one more on my cheeks. Okay, this is, this is like a bright pink. This is stunning. So maybe we're gonna use this too actually. I can first put the cream and then the powder on top, but I'll be too blushy. But I'm actually willing to do that. I'm gonna use like a really fluffy brush. This one is from BH Cosmetics. Guys, what happened with BH Cosmetics though? Because I saw uh, on official Makeup Revolution website products from BH Cosmetics. Does that mean that, that Makeup Revolution bought BH Cosmetics? Oh, what what's happening? What's happening with this brand, with the BH Cosmetic brand? Because I'm a bit confused. I was like, okay, what is BH Cosmetics doing on Makeup Revolution website? Am I am I missing something? Oh, okay, it's really subtle. It's really sheer, if you can see. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, so no, it's not that pigmented as it is when you swatch it, of course, like here. Yeah. Oh, it's actually really cute. Can you see it? It's really cute. I like it. I actually never tried the... I didn't even know that Catrice has blush sticks. I have one here that I still didn't try. This one. And I now I'm kind of thinking that this may be the same color. Almost. But I still didn't try this one. Um, I think this is like a new product that they came up with like blush sticks like I don't think they had it before But look at that. It's so it's just it's so soft cute It's nice. I could also leave it like this already I also like to put a bit tiny bit on the right in the middle of my nose I'll use the same same brush because why the hell not uh, just a tiny bit because this looks lots more pigmented because of course it's powder so it will be let's use the mirror that's so cute she is so cute the shade is so pretty it's like a it's giving me like a sunburned effect like it's a bit like like oh i just i was a bit too much in the sun it's almost similar to my blush from by nicola this is called actually sunburned kiss uh, even though it doesn't look 
like that much at all but it's giving me the same vibe like you just like you just spend the day in the sun and now you're just a bit rosy I really like the name Nala. I, I think like one day if I'll have a daughter, I don't know if I'll have any kids because I'm just alone and I'm just a really hard person to deal with. But one day if I'll have a kid, Dora, I would like to call her Nala. I really like the name. I don't know, maybe because it's kind of like close to my uh, book character name, which is called Nia. Nala, Nia, I don't know, I really like the name Nala, I just don't, don't judge me, okay, don't judge me, I really like the name. Okay, so can you feel the love tonight, the blush is a yes from me, uh, it looks really nice, cute, as you can see, I'm a bit sunburned, I'm ready to the beach, I even have like a beach earrings and beach top and just shirt, I wanted to create this whole look like in a kind of like with the, like a beach vibes, like you know like safari kind of thingy so let's hope it's gonna stay that way moving on to the highlighter and we're gonna dip back into the face palette and this is the highlighter it's in the shade just as bears oh i think balu is a nice character uh, i'm gonna swatch it right here the highlighter oh yeah this is really nice. This is right up my alley. I don't really like icy highlighters, to be honest. I really don't. I like more like a bronzy highlighters uh, or like a copper highlighters, not even like a gold, golden highlighters. I mean, I think Catrice and Essence, they both make really nice products more affordable than it's makeup revolution or color pop let's just say there's still gonna be people that will enjoy these brands because they're affordable and they create they give you really good products well not every single product is like great that they come up with of course not but most of it especially when it comes to like collections like this when they do collections with disney it's it's really nice. It's really impressive. I really like it. So I also put the highlights on my tip on the tip of the nose and on the bridge. It's not giving me wow type of moment like the rare beauty highlighter, but like compared to the price as well, the rare beauty highlighter is like 36 euros. This was only like 13 for the whole palette. So of course it's not the best highlighter if you are really into highlighters. I'm not into highlighters. So this for me is really nice let's finish the complexion and then we do the eyes like we did the last time with the evil queen so i have one a lip product from catrice and i have one lip product from essence and i think we can actually mix them both because this is actually i first thought that this is lipstick it has beautiful print on the lipstick it has the character bagheera on it and it has also here like a b I don't know, like Bagheera, yeah, his name. Uh, it looks like lipstick, right? But it's actually lip balm. They also have one more, which is uh, lighter, but I wanted, of, as I mentioned, I wanted different character for each packaging, so I picked up Bagheera. They have also Baloo, and that lip balm is lighter. So I picked the darker shade. And from Essence, they came up with this real gloss, and I have mine in the shade called Timon. Well, you have Timon uh, on the packaging. I think the second one is Pumba. This is the lighter shade and then they have darker shade as well. And I think this will be more like a lip gloss. Yeah, this is a lip gloss, but it's different for, for Essence because they do like this swirl thing. So that's why it's called swirl gloss. So I think we can use both today. Okay, the only lip liner I have right here with me is by Weave. It's in the shade Velvet Sun, so I'm gonna use that. So now we're gonna go with the lip balm in the shade Bagheera, which is this one. It's so pretty. I hope this whole look's gonna match, because if not, then I'll just freak out. Okay, this is definitely a lip balm. You can feel it right away when you apply it to your lips, and the shade looks really good. I really like the shade. It's definitely a lot sheer, so I don't know how the lighter shade looks like, but I'm really glad that I purchased a darker one. 
because it's not even dark but it feels really good on the lips smooth I think this will moisturize your lips as well because it's a lip balm so that's really nice and it's pigmented I I don't think I have pigmented lip balm to be honest or maybe I, I have from Trivia's place I have nothing to say it looks really nice I think like this will definitely smudge when you eat because it's 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 a balm it's not a lipstick so definitely you will have to reapply it reapply it reapply it but I don't mind and now I will put the lip gloss Ooh, it smells like bubblegum it smells sweet okay so this has sparkles like a gold sparkles wow this is this matches together definitely yeah this has like a tiny gold sparkles and I'm so dumb you can even see it it's actually this I just move a bit closer so you can see the lips mm, I don't know if you can see the gold sparkles but it's really cute I don't even need the eyeshadow I mean I, I can go thank you this is my face. Nice product as well, but I would actually prefer the lip balm over the lip gloss. I'm not really a lip gloss girl, and if I can feel the glitters on my lips, then uh, uh. It's cute, nice, but I would pass. Uh, definitely this lip balm is really nice. And it will moisturize my lips, so I will reapply it throughout the day. This is really nice purchase. Moving on to the palette. They came up with a lot of palettes. So Catrice came up with the Jungle Book. I think they have three palettes. And Essence came up with the Lion King also. I think they have three or four palettes. So I picked up palette from Essence. I think you, you can already tell it's gonna be a neutral palette. And it is this one, which has the three characters on its packaging. So we have Timon, Pumba, and Simba. It's cute. This is the palette. This is the color scheme that we're gonna work with today. Because uh, as I said, like none of the more colorful palettes, it's just... I just didn't like it. It was not... At least I picked this one. So this is the one that we're gonna work with with today i already kind of prepped my uh, <laughs> prepped my eyes i put a bit of concealer on them that's it and i won't talk anymore let's just test this palette right away that's what we're gonna do i think today i will do more simple look not like i did the last time with the snow white palette that was really unexpected uh, so today I will keep it low-key. Let's dip right into the shade called Ashes, which is this one. I will use the big mirror for this and I will put it right into the crease. And I think this shade is gonna be a bit lighter. Yeah, this shade is almost like my skin tone. On the eyes it looks more warm. In the pan it looks more cooler. If that makes sense, doesn't make sense now. Uh, sometimes my I may like I may lack with my English, so I really apologize. I don't have the vocabulary to talk about makeup in English, so I'm really sorry. But this is really nice. I mean, you can never, ever go wrong with neutrals. I mean, you can, but most of the time. You cannot. To be honest, I I don't have that many eyeshadow palettes from neither Essence or Catrice. I have few. I have the Evil Queen, I have Ursula, and I had like the mini qu mini quartz. It was like three shades or six shades from Essence. It was I had like an icebreaker, it was like a blue uh, toned mini eyeshadow palette and that for the price for like three euros they were super pigmented but I gave it to my gold daughter because she is now avatar character yeah she's now playing that she's avatar character so she needed a blue color for her face so I gave it to her and she was so happy she was so happy. I just love kids' imagination. I think that's the purest thing kids can have. Okay, let's dip into the darkest one and let's put that in the outer corner to kind of deepen the look. And I'll just press the shade 
right in the outer corner if you can see and then I will start blending it so far the shades are not the most pigmented but definitely blendable definitely blendable like they blend like a butter <laughs> this year I'll turn 26 which mm, don't even tell me because I'm single I don't have kids I don't have anything I don't have career I don't have, I'm, I'm moving out from Switzerland I'll have no job I have no house nothing okay goodbye but I like to imagine things I may look like I'm naive but I'm actually really smart around boys, around men. Uh, and even my mom said that, and even my aunt said it, uh, because my mom has a sister that she's my aunt. And then my cousin has my goddaughter, okay? Um, they say that I'm actually pretty smart around boys, around love, or these things. And I don't even know how is that possible because I had only like a one real relationship in my life that was so toxic that I left I actually I think I'm smart I think I am I just even though I I like to romanticize a lot at the same time I really uh, how do you say like I don't have my head in the clouds like I'm not like uh, you know I'm no like Fuck off. First of all, it's really hard to impress me. On one hand, that's a plus. On the other, it's a negative thing because it's really hard to impress me. So maybe that's why I'm alone. Also, what already someone told me is that, that I look really like hard to get. Like I look really cold. The guys are just scared of me or I don't know. But I'm a really nice person, but really hard to impress. So for example, if a guy wants to buy me flowers or chocolate, I'm not. I'm not buying it. I can buy it myself. I can buy flowers and chocolate for me. Like, you don't have to buy it for me to express your love for me. Like, fuck off. I don't need it. Goodbye. Only if the flowers are sunflowers. Which sunflowers are really, are usually hard to get. So if it's a sunflower, you won. Chocolate, better not. I don't like chocolates. I mean, I love chocolate, but I can buy it myself, so you don't need to buy it for me. Flowers? No, because to me that means that our love is dead, because when you buy flower, the flower is already dead and it will die even more within the three days, so no thank you. If it's some flower, I may take it. If it's a dry flower, like a bouquet of dry flowers, that's a smart move. That's a smart move then you won. I mean you didn't because at the end I will anyway throw it in the trash but it's a bit smarter. I'm being sarcastic and funny. Oh let's go to the dinner uh, blah blah blah. Don't get me wrong it's really nice to have a dinner with someone that you like you fancy and just you just getting to know each other it's so nice it's so cute but at the same time I don't need it. I mean, I love food, yeah, so it's actually, yeah, I, I would go, but I would prefer maybe to cook at home together. But then at the same time, then when you're in a relationship and you want to go on date and you just cook together, it's just that you never go out of the house. So there's also that disadvantage, like you just get used to be around each other and you kind of start to be comfortable with each other, which is not a good, which is not a bad thing. But at the same time, it's not a good thing. Do you know what I mean? Because that's what happened in my relationship. We just get really comfortable with each other. That I felt like I was not even in a relationship anymore. I felt like I was living with a friend or with a roommate. And that's a really bad thing. But my whole relationship was really hard. Like, um, I felt like I was the only one that was only trying. Like, the other person was not trying. He was just really taking me for granted. He was really taking me for granted. And that pissed me off. It was really pissing me off. Um, I don't even want to talk about that person. Because every time I talk about him, I'm just really pissed. I hate him. <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, but I really do dislike him. Oh my god, guys. This is an eyeliner. This shade right here is an eyeliner. Okay, so we're gonna try that one. But I wanted to use it on my eyes. That's so freaking cool. 
Okay, we're gonna try that one. So instead of that one, I will use this shade called Wild Side. I will kind of uh, blend this, uh, blend everything with that shade. So apparently, I'm kind of smart around guys. So I think I kind of take that as an advantage. But I still, even though I may sound like, Ugh, like I don't like it, flowers, chocolate, blah, blah. I would consider myself as the biggest cliche of all cliches. I just love those freaking cliches. I don't know, just really stupid ones like cuddles and kisses. I'm, I think I'm really like a, like a touchy person, even though I don't like to... Ah, this is the thing. But around random people, I just don't like physical touch. Uh, it makes me really uncomfortable. I just like to shake hands. But when I'm in a relationship and when I'm with someone, I, 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 feel, I feel like I need the physical touch. I need that hug. I need that comfort. I need that like, I'm here for you. We're gonna get through this together. And I didn't get that from my previous relationship. Mm. So yeah, it's just those tiny little things that can make your day better. Let's move on to the shimmers and I think straight away I will use this one called Star Crossed because this, this has like a multiple colors in it. So it's like a rosy copper gold shade. I don't know, let's put it on the eyes and see what's gonna happen. Um, I'm gonna put it in the inner corners. I don't know if you can see it. It's not the most pigmented shimmer, but actually it's really nice. I'm trying to get it as closer to the inner corner as possible. Oh, really nice, okay. It's orange. It may have like gold sparkles in it. I will put this shade called Sweet Keres, Keres which is this pinky one, in the outer corner of my eyes. Just to make it more fun. Guys, my camera just turned off and I hope I was filming. <sighs> okay, so in the inner corner, I will use the shade called Serafina, which is this golden tone one. Um, so yeah, and I also, oh, okay, this is like a duochrome. So this is not actually golden, but it's pink. Shit. I don't want my inner corners to be pink. I really don't. I'm not in the mood to have my inner corners pink. No. Let's try this one, which is called Small, Small World. And let's hope that this one won't be pink. I'm sorry. I'm really not in the... Do, do you see the... Do you see the shade? Do you see the inner corners? What is this shade? This is hella bright. It's pigmented as shit. Okay, let's just kind of blend it. Ah, oh, I love the look, you guys. I think we did a good job. Look at my hand. Thank you. <gasps> my pants, no! I have shadows all over my pants. I don't like it. Okay, let's try the the cake eyeliner. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. Let's just take like an angled brush. Let's spray it. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it says cake eyeliner. It means that it's a liner, right? So let's dip into the shade. It's right there. Let's try, let's try. Let's try to do like a... I sprayed the shade, I just put water in it. I don't think... I don't think you can see the... The liner, and I don't want to ruin the look. On the, on the hand, it's right here, it looks really nice, but when I apply it on my eyes... It's just... There's nothing. Am I doing something wrong? I think I am. Whatever, I'm not gonna ruin the look, but in this uh, palette there are also eyeliners, like a uh, water activated eyeliners, I guess. Overall, the palette is 
cute it's neutral but it's nice it doesn't have the best pigment but for me it's really blendable it's nice so i really like it so thank you essence for this collection uh, the last step that we have is that i purchased this catrice volume mascara it's waterproof mascara and it has i think it's balu and Mowgli in the in the water together like it has little prints right here i think like this is like the i really like the handle of it I think this is like the regular mascara, it's just now it's like a Disney edition. So I will apply it. I didn't curl my lashes, I didn't do anything. This is like a real first impression of the mascara and I already like it. Because it doesn't glue my lashes together. You never can go wrong with mascara. I mean... It, it, Mascara is mascara. If it's 40 euros or 6 euros or 3 euros, it's to me it's it's the same. Nice. 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 Look at my hands. Jesus Christ. Mm, I think this is the whole look. I'll just finish it with my setting mist and I will use this W7 Ready Set Glow Illuminating Mist. So let's bear with me. Hold on a minute. Ah, this smells so good. And as you all know, I will press the mist with this sponge. Uh, so this is how the look looks from my left side. You have the front, you have the eyes, you have <laughs> the unglued wig. Yeah, yeah. And then this is how it looks from the right side and my hand. This is the activated liner. But it just it just doesn't show on my eyes. I don't know. This is it, you guys. This was the whole look using the newest Catrice and Essence collaboration. I don't know if this is a collaboration or this is like a separate collections, but I enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. I hope I did a good job. I think I did. <laughs> I mean, you can never ever go wrong with neutrals but of course there are exceptions as well you can go wrong with neutrals uh, but i think this time i did it good um so thank you so much for watching i hope you really enjoyed this video and if you did then you can give me a thumbs up um, you can also subscribe to this channel because it keeps me motivated to do more videos for you and I know I I, I lacked this like it's been a long time since I posted but please bear with me because uh, keeping up with YouTube is really hard uh, generally in being in social media is hard these days so yeah that's it that's what I wanted to say if you really like my makeup videos then you should also check out my my Instagram account also my bookstagram that's all about my book because I created the second Instagram account just for the book that I'm writing and that's gonna be released in June hopefully but I wanted to say yeah uh, I also launched a website it's out it's live it's still not perfect uh, but I created the website from scratch so that that one is gonna be also down below it's mainly about the book and it's also if you click on buy an eye color then you you'll be linked to my small makeup brand called buy an eye color so you can check that as as well and um, so everything is gonna be linked down below and okay enough talking let's go to eat let's go clean this table from the coffee and I hope you really enjoyed this video and yeah I hope I'll see you in the next one so bye guys bye